<laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Caroline. Thanks you, thanks you, thank you so much for stopping by. So today I'm gonna like bend down and get kind of close to you guys. I wanted to do, and I keep wanting to call it an altar, and it's not an altar, it's a mantle. Decorate my mantle with me video. I know it's August, okay? I know it's August, but here's the thing. I really wanted to get this video out and done so that way if you guys needed ideas or wanted to decorate your mantle, I don't know. I'm still watching ones from last year and I always like it when people put these videos out early because then it's kind of like, oh yeah, I didn't think of doing that. And my mantle is always the first thing I decorate really for any holiday, except for Christmas. I decorate the tree first. but. It's just like that one center of the room, like walk in our house, you see our mantle. I don't know. It's like where we sit to watch TV. It's just, I love it. So since we have a TV here, I'm kind of limited on like height space right here. Um, but you guys probably noticed the thing I have sitting right here, which this is going to go in our front yard, but this is the Billy's tombstone I was telling you guys about that I got from Spirit and I was like you know what he, it kind of looks good just sitting right here so he's just gonna sit right there until it is time to put him up in the front yard and I'm wearing my trick or treat yourself shirt from Oriental Trading by the way it is so like I honestly should have gone size down in this shirt but I kind of like it because it's baggy so I'm gonna get my Myers Fall Cleaner, and this one is Acorn Spice. I like the cider one better, but I don't know where it is right now, so we're just gonna use this. But I love to clean the mantle because it gets gross. Um, and plus we have a lot of spiders around here too, since we live kind of in the, the woods. <laughs> tell me, you guys, tell me. Do y'all kill your spiders or do y'all let them live? I let them live and my husband kills them. But I'm like, don't kill them because then they kill all the flies that come in the house. You know, this is really disgusting. Like I literally cleaned this not that long ago. Coffee break. The theme that I decided to go with this year was a witchy theme. Now, let me just tell you guys. I normally never have a theme for my mantle. It's always just been random Halloween pieces that I kind of just throw on there and um, that's it. <laughs> but this year I was like, I want to do kind of a purple witchy theme, black and white kind of theme. And I'm trying to do this on the cheaper side so I don't have to go out and spend more money because I've already spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars on Halloween stuff and I have a problem. Like I need to stop. <laughs> so this, you guys, I always say go for creepy cloth, go for something on your mantle because it really does add to it. It's like in Christmas time, if you add like snow or something, it just adds more to it. This I got off of Amazon. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I don't even want to talk about Amazon right now. But it basically was a very cheapy tablecloth, but it has these little spiders hanging off of it. And I love it. So I decided to use this as a mantle instead of just like throwing it away, but it's really a tablecloth. I just, ugh, it came so cheaply, you guys. So I was like, you know what? We're gonna, we're not gonna throw it away. We're going to use it and We might have to move it to the center. Okay, I don't know how I'm feeling about this. It sounded a lot better in my head than it actually looks. So, like, I like the idea of it. I think it's going down too low, maybe. Like, my husband still has his gaming stuff up here, so I'm just gonna let him keep it up here. I'm not gonna tell him to move it or anything. I'm gonna be nice. <laughs> I don't know, though. It, it looks. <laughs> I'm just like trying to make myself feel better about this, honestly, you guys, than it, than it actually looks. I do like the little spiders hanging down. I think that is really cute. And I do like how you can see the cobweb. I think I'm just, I think I'm going to leave it and then we're just going to see 
what it looks like by the end of this. This candle, if you guys remember from my, um, was it my last haul? I think it was my last Halloween, um, the one at Home Goods, right? Yeah. So it's just this LED candle and it's got this witch and I just loved this. I honestly wish I got two of them, but it's just so spooky and I love it. And um, they have a very similar one at TJ Maxx, but at TJ Maxx, it's I think like a different picture. Kind of want to go and get it. I haven't put batteries in this yet, but I probably will by the end of this video so you guys can see what this looks like at night. I decided to kind of put it on the mantle here. It looks like we can kind of spread little spiders out. And then I got some spooky treats from Target last year. Now you guys, <laughs> you can't do Halloween decorating without spooky trees. And these trees, I got them in the Target dollar spot. They have Bullseye Playground, whatever, every year. And I freaking love these. They have glitter on the inside, but the trees themselves are fuzzy. I kind of wish they were glittery, but I'm going to put these, basically what you growling at? I'm going to put these on either side of the mantle. I just think it brings spookiness to it. And I think I'm going to turn them this way. And you guys will see why I'm turning them this way and not the other way in a second. I do kind of like this. Like the more I'm looking at it, I'm kind of like, it's not that bad. Like it really isn't. Like I said, it's a tablecloth, but I just don't want to throw it away. I was like, why am I going to throw it away? It's really cute little spiders dangling. So far, I love it. You guys, I got this from Spirit this year. I had no idea how much this was. Like I saw this went back because I was like, oh, dang it, why didn't I get it? I went back to go get this thinking it's just $16.99. So I just didn't look at the price. You guys, this was $24.99 at Spirit. I think they also have a Beetlejuice one, but this is the Sanderson Sisters. It just says Old Burial Hill and it's got Binks and the Sanderson Sisters on it. And then down here, it just says Salem's Original Witches. And since um, I've mentioned like 20,000 times before, I'm doing a Hocus Pocus theme really for more of my front yard this year, not really in the house, but I thought this would be a nice touch. I originally got this to put this here, but um, while it works, it covers part of the TV. So I decided, okay, we'll just put it to the side. Be kind of careful because if you put it against something else, you're going to be like, you're not going to be able to see the witches. So that's why I decided to put the trees like this way so that they wouldn't get in the way. And then this like white paneling that we have, you can kind of see what it is a little bit more. I think that looks good. Um, hang on. <laughs> I like to be able to see everything when I'm sitting at the couch. So that's why I'm like, let's bring this out as much as we can, have the tree kind of out as much as we can. I don't recommend buying this decoration because it is very, unless you just are like, I'm going to put it on a table or you don't have a TV over your mantle. It's a difficult thing to like, I don't know, like work with because you have, you can't have black behind it. You almost need like a lighter color. Next thing I got, I got these at the Dollar Tree. I don't have high hopes for these, you guys. I really don't. But I was like, well, you know, it's a dollar, oh, a dollar twenty-five now. But there are these little bats that are string lights, and they're just the LED string lights. And I was like, oh, well, they're purple, so I can put them along here and see what they look like. This is not something I'm gonna turn on all the time. I'm actually, last time I got LED lights, what ended up happening was, and this had never happened, was our batteries, like battery acid started leaking into them. And we had put those types of batteries in everything and that did not happen at all. So after that, I'm really wary about these and I don't turn them on all the time, but I'm gonna have to get a screwdriver to put batteries in it. But for right now, we're just gonna put them up let me untangle these. I literally cannot untangle these. So you guys might see this in the end of the video, but maybe not right now. But basically my idea, what I was going to do with them was just put them at the edge of the mantle. So there'd be some purpliness, but we're not going to fool with those anymore. 
So another Dollar Tree find were this year were these purple bats. And I initially got these for Halloween because I wanted to do a Halloween tree. So I was like, ooh, anything I can find that's on the cheaper side, that's like purple, I'll do for Halloween. And I'll do like a little black tree and yeah. But then I was like, they would look perfect for the display I'm doing and I could clear clips. So I'm gonna clip these and the uh, spooky trees that I have just to add a little bit of something extra, a little pop of color. Well, you guys, these are definitely from the Dollar Tree because literally the clip in this just fell off. I can still use them, but I am just saying it's definitely Dollar Tree quality. I don't know if you guys can see them, but honestly, the clips on them made it a little harder to work with. So I kind of like them, like just placing them in the tree. So I'm going to use two more on each tree, but I think it definitely gives it a little bit a pop of color a little something and if you don't like glitter i don't recommend buying these because they are so glittery those two i know they look kind of funky but i ripped the clips off you guys it was literally just like not working it was easier for me just to place them but i do like it on each side i think it looks good pop of color pop of purple this next item you guys my best friend who watches most of these videos jen Hey girl, hey ghoul, hey. <laughs> but she hates Dave the cat. She literally says that it looks like this cat got like run over, hit by a bus, like, <laughs> but I love him. So he is gonna go by the mantle. Uh, I think I'm gonna put him like right in front of this tombstone. And I'll give you guys, obviously, like when I'm done, I'm gonna give y'all like a glimpse of everything, but I think he looks good in front of there. And then on the other side, I don't think you guys can see. Let me go down a little bit. But I have like two pumpkins that I got from all these last year that are just um, kind of spooky. So I just kind of left them there. The next thing I have are these LED candles. Okay, this one still works. That flicker, I freaking love these. I use these last year for my mantle i got them from the dollar spot at target and i love them so i think i'm gonna put one like here okay, so i ended up putting the other candle by the sanderson like old burial hill i just i like things equal on both sides but i also like how it is different on both sides thanks easily for your cameo i found i really wanted to find those little potion bottles if you guys know what i'm talking about they sell them at michael's for like 500 dollars um i went to the dollar tree because i was seeing that the dollar tree had some of them they didn't have any at mine but i was like oh they have this little purple like poison beaker and i was like this would be kind of cute and it would bring the purple in so <gasps> you guys i could totally oh, oh my gosh i'm getting like such good vibes okay i do have some skull heads that I could totally put by this and it would look really good but I do like that in the middle because we don't have anything in the middle yet so I do like that skull heads that I'm talking about I got from at home a few years ago the hear no evil see no evil speak no evil I don't know if this is going to take away from the witchy theme but I think I'm just going to try them and play around with them and they're always on my mantle anyway. See, I feel like that looks weird because it's just a potion bottle, like a poison bottle. There's not four of them, there's only two. As you guys remember, I am very weird about even and odd numbers. Like, I don't like odd numbers. However, my favorite number is seven. Doesn't make any sense. I'll play around with it a little more. We're not gonna move anything yet. I did get this from Spirit, this Judith Myers from Halloween Gravestone. I got this like two years ago. Um, and I thought this would be really cool. And we can use it to cover my husband's little game thing. Uh, because I think, I think that thing is like a charger. It's for Animal Crossing. It's something. I don't know you guys. But it, um, we can use it to kind of cover that and then maybe put one of those skeleton heads in front of there. Move the candle back. Like I'm kind of getting... Kind of getting better vibes, maybe. <gasps> this is why you start playing around with stuff because we can put one skull head here. Maybe we'll put him kind of more in the back. Okay, so I do like.
like that. I, let me like step back. I like that a lot. I was kind of worried because I was like, oh, it's in threes. And normally on my mantle, I have these three skulls together, like in the middle. But I like how they're spread apart. I think that looks good. And I don't think it takes away necessarily from the witchy theme at all. So, good deal. Thought I might add some of these, I call these foozles, and everyone's like, what, what are you talking about, foozles? But I normally use these for Easter ween, but I thought that these would be kind of cute for maybe some filler space. So I'm going to see how it looks. I know I didn't really want to bring any orange and black into it, but it might end up making it look better. So we're just, we're going to try it. How I feel about it, if I'm being completely honest. Like, I like it because I'm like, ooh, there's a pop of orange in there now. So it looks all spooky, but it also looks very Halloween. Honestly, I've never spent this much effort on a mantle before. Like, normally I just kind of throw some things on and then I'm done. But I really got inspired this year. <laughs> I think I like the foozles. I think with the poison bottle, though, I need to put... I don't know if I should put foozles in it. I like it. It's just not what I'm used to decorating for for Halloween. Like, I'm normally very much like jack o' lanterns, and uh, I'm not really like. I haven't gone this crazy before. So, I'm kind of like, do I like it? Do I not? I think I'm going to have to sit on it. But for right now, I think this is good. I don't know how much more stuff I want to put up on the mantle because I'm afraid if I keep putting more stuff, you're going to miss like certain aspects. So I might like move that skull for it. I do have this little black glittery pumpkin I put on there. Same with this little skull head. Like I might move the skulls just so they stand out more because as you guys know, I'm very much a maximalist. I love a lot of stuff, but if you add too much, then it's almost like you can't tell all, like every little thing you put into the mantle. So I think I'm gonna leave it alone. Um, I am gonna put the bat string lights as soon as I get those untangled, and I will show you guys what this looks like at night. Hopefully it looks cool. I have very low expectations. But um, yeah, I'll show you guys the finished product. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and let me know what you guys are doing. Do you, are, do you normally decorate your mantle or are you doing a theme this year? If so, what theme are you doing? And if you have any recommendations for me, for sure, I love it. I love getting y'all's comments and um, it kind of helps me think a little more when I have like other opinions. But thank you guys so much for watching. And now I will show you guys what this looks like at night.